Hi, it's Danny. Okay, I told you last time that we need to change this water with the purified water to get all the salts out. Now you might ask, how do I get all this peat out of this bowl because it's a mess here? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I have another bowl here ready and what I do, I get some strong gloves and just reach in and grab some peat moss and then I'll just squeeze it in my hand to get as much of the water as I can out. Mmm, yummy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so after I do this, I just placed it in the new bowl. Like this. Okay, so I will continue to do this until I reach a point where I won't be able to do it, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I collected as much peat as I could with my hands, and for the last bits, I actually used a strainer. It's easy as that. Um, try to find an old strainer or something that you're not using with food. Um, I do have one. I've been using it for so many years. It looks like hell, but it does its job. So yeah, just use a strainer and uh, get the last bit of moss. Try to get as much of the water out as you can. And there you go, you have your last bits of moss. So now that we have all our peat ready, it's time to let it soak in some pure water. I'm using distilled water. I actually got this at the gas station. And it's pretty cheap. Well, actually, it's not um, distilled water. It's demineralized water. It's actually a different process. Um, they, I'm not sure how it's done, but they... Uh, it involves some ions exchange, very, very uh, chemistry, advanced chemistry stuff for me. So I'll just leave it as that. Okay, let's pour some water here. That seems legit. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for a bit too, just to make sure that all the peat is getting water and it's getting rinsed. The potting medium for carnivorous plants shouldn't be only peat moss. It should actually be a mixture between 50% um, peat moss and 50% sand. So next time I will show you how to rinse your sand and I will give you a quick tip of recognizing how to recognizing the proper sand you should use for carnivorous plants. So if you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to leave me a question or give me a suggestion, use the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye!